previously on Royalty Reality TV Show. Sealed until the walls come down Releasing every moment in between Thank you, Jesus <laughs> Uh, I just want to appreciate God for bringing me this far. It can only be God, and 
God using people outside the house. I just want to appreciate God first of all. And I just want to appreciate everyone out there, my family, my friends. You people have you, you people you people have done so much for me. I just want to appreciate everyone for taking their time and resources, keeping me back in the house. I'm not taking anything for granted. No thing is too small. I just want to appreciate all of you. God bless you. As a finalist, I'm so grateful. I'm like extremely excited. Extremely excited. I never knew I was going to be one of the finalists, but God made it happen. I'm so grateful. I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy. I've not been myself since yesterday. US left. I've been trying to laugh, trying to be okay, but the house is the house is quiet without US around. Well, it's the, I won't say any, if there's any for now. I won't say if I have any for now. Uh, I feel good. I'm happy and I'm okay. I'm cool. About the eviction, I would say that's the that's the game. It's part of the game and it's part of the show. So it's cool and whatever that happens, we take it like that. And even though I know we miss them, but it's part of the game. Oh, I would say um, I miss Amarachi. Yeah, she's just, she's a vibe. So actually miss her around. The house has actually been quiet and imagine if she's here. It was going to be actually be fun because she's funny and she's entertaining. So I really miss her around. It was really not... Aside from Amarachi and uh, Esther, who has been singing, I'm the one going home next, I'm the one going home next. They're all joking about it, but the one that took us by surprise was US. So it's a game. It must be one winner. It wasn't really. Him leaving that yesterday or has been evicted that yesterday really, really wasn't what we were expecting though. I was looking for tears to cry but I could not see tears. I guess that is why he always tells me, always says that amongst the four of us, I'm the strongest. Despite anything that might come in or what might happen in the house where I'm expected to be crying or giving, uh, having mood swings. I don't even show any signs of that. The eviction yesterday wasn't really nice at all. You see, well, he played, played his, his role as himself to each and every one of us together as friends. So that's just it. He was himself and we were ourselves as well whenever we are all together. The truth is each and every one of them for who they are, they are being missed because Solomon cannot act the way Precious is acting or behaving. Precious cannot behave the way Gemma is behaving. Gemma cannot behave the way Esther is behaving or known to be. Esther cannot behave the way Amarachi is behaving. Amarachi cannot behave the way Likia is behaving. Neither can Likia behave the way 
Adora is behaving. So they all I really miss all all of them because each and every one of them have their specific thing that they are known for. So I do miss all. Eviction show yesterday. Honestly, I thought I was going yesterday because I don't know, I wasn't sure what's happening outside anymore. The confidence wasn't there because it's the last day of the eviction. So, but I'm very grateful to Jana Mungato for keeping me to go for the final. Very happy. I miss Amarachi and Esther a lot because anywhere I turn to, I just think of them the way they were talking, the way they play, and just anywhere I just turn to, anywhere I go in, around the house, I just miss them a lot. The eviction yesterday, I was um, I was so scared that um, yesterday was going to be my last day but thank god i'm part of the top finalists and all the same i'm still not okay i'm not happy as it's a game but uh i'm not happy that you guys had to leave yesterday And I was, it's funny enough, you know, I just want to be myself here in the house. You know? I just want to be myself here in the house. My game plan depends on my people outside the house, but in, inside the house, I just want to be myself. Just basically enjoy the moment. Whatever comes. I just want to be myself in the house. I just want to enjoy the moment. Then my people will do the rest outside. Just, we're just really emotional yes uh, this last eviction because one of our clique was evicted so it was so so emotional it was so painful you know we actually bonded we actually bonded at some time some point sorry it was so painful that one of us had to just go which is Solomon so we're just all in our feelings it was so emotional at that point couldn't just hold ourselves because we were so close at that moment that it was so really painful. But someone just had to go, you know. So it's 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 it's, it's a game, it's a game. Some people will stay and some will go. So it's actually a game. So. <laughs> actually, it was funny when um, General Mugato appointed me as the Duchess. Because I wasn't expecting it at all. I felt maybe um, going to give it to someone who, who is tough and and funny enough, I was the one being appointed. So that is cool. I'm happy, and one of the way that um, actually trained me on how to rule or control people. So. It's fine and I'm happy and thanks to General Mugato for appointing me as the Yes, to my own best of knowledge I was able to handle what I what I wanted to do, like what I thought I would do if I'm the Duchess. So I did it and I'm satisfied. Because I thought I won't be able to win that, that title in the house. Hello, my fans, my friends, my family. We are at the last stage. Please, guys, I need your vote, your support. At this point, this is the final stage so far. Please, I need your vote and support. Thank you so much. As you give that, may you be blessed. Well, first of all, I want to appreciate my family and friends for keeping me up to this um, stage. And the game is coming to an end. I want to say to you, please don't get tired. Don't give up. Keep pushing until we get to the final. 
So please, family and friends, I beg us, please. Let's keep on the voting coming and let us win this because it's, we're just counting days now. Like we're just counting days now, please. Let's try our best. I know we have tried, but please, let's do more. This is the final week, and the game is coming to an end. Please, in case you have any strategy of, okay, you're waiting for the dining, please watch, like, monitor every movement, every step that is going on. Please, and try all the possible best you can do for us to win this show. But, my people... I want to use this opportunity to thank you guys. I really, really appreciate this. I want to send a special appreciation to a special friend that has been doing all they could to seal me in this house. And I'm so, so happy that you guys were able to push me to the top, to the top finalists. I am so, so thankful to you guys. But we cannot end here now. We can't end it here. We still have the grand finale. We need to win the money. The money is the game. The money is so important. Please, guys, please, please, let's do this till the final is. Let's do this to the grand finale. Let's bring this money home. Please keep voting for me. After God, I still believe in you guys, that you guys can still pull out something. Please don't give up. I know it has not been easy out there. I don't know what's going on out there. Yes, I don't know, but I still want to play with you guys. To please keep doing what you're doing. Keep pushing in the votes. Keep doing your best for your girl, Princess of Abuja. And I'm going to see you guys soon because I really miss you guys. Love you all. Thank you. Know yourself. God bless you. God bless you. God increases you. <sighs> Words are not enough. But God bless you. I'm, I'm so grateful. God bless every one of you. They have put in your finance, your time. God bless you. Guys, Sunday is the final. <laughs> Sunday is the end. Please, I beg you guys. Please. please, make your baby girl win. No. <laughs> It's actually a game and somebody has to win and it has to be me. Pico. Help me guys, please. I want to be a winner. I, mean, I want to be a winner. I've actually said it to myself that I'm a go-getter. And I know this is actually a platform for me. These guys, if I beg you in the name of God, I want to win. I want to be a winner. Please, help me, please. I love you guys so much and I'm so grateful. God bless you all. God keep you. God bless you. I'm actually at the final. I'm among the top five. I want to say thank you for voting me to be in the house. And I want to still say thank you because I still need you guys' support. I still need your support to make it. If now I make I be the winner, fine and good. If now I make I be first run out, fine and good. If now I make I be second run out, fine and good. But I know say Una want the best for me. So I beg Una. I use called Pekuna. Hmm? My mama, my papa, my siblings, my friends, all of you that has the my best interest interest, I mean, at art, please help me by supporting me to the top. I love you all and I know you guys love me as well. Thank you. Savannah season special promo is back and better. Buy a plot of land with Savannah Smart Home this season and enjoy up to 50% discount with a 36 month payment spread. That's no all. With an initial deposit of 100,000 and above, you get freebies like double door fridge, live cow, live gold, bag of rice, oil, plus bird TV, and more. You also get to enjoy a free raffle draw ticket to win a plot of land. Wow! Our estate are located in Abuja, Nasarawa, Enugu, and Oyo State. We offer top notch infrastructure, good road network, 24 7 electricity, recreational center, and gym, test securities with CCTV cameras within the estate, and smart futures to wow you. What are you waiting for? Call! 
or visit our website on www.savannasmarthomes.com. Savannah Smart Homes, building affordable smart cities. Every day, we struggle with life's challenges. Every day, we push our pulse to the limit, breaking bounds as we forge ahead. Maca Plus Energy Drink offers unique taste and a cooling feel. Feel the boost. Push and showcase your skills. Maca Plus Energy Drink for the champions. Maca Plus Energy Drink. A hot day or a chance to get closer and new experiences together. Fan milk. Hey, Siwe. Give me Siwe bottle water. Mm -mm. All blues are not Siwe. <sighs> Always choose. Topic. But before we do so, I would like each and every one of you here seated here with me to introduce yourself and what you do. So I would like to go for you. Hello everyone. My name is Bongzi. My name is Zoe Trust. I'm a makeup artist. Hi everyone. My name is Princess Nabuja. I'm a Fosa. And I'm Lolita. So we'll be talking on a topic. What are the roles and responsibility of a woman in the house? So I would like to go with Zoe. What do you think? What are the roles or what do you think are the roles and responsibility of a woman in the house? Yeah. Um, I think um, as a woman, your role in the house is to always make sure the house is clean. Um, take care of the children to make sure they are okay and then anything concerning the house at all I think the wife should be the sole responsible for it. Okay, what about you Lolita? Um, as a woman, the role or responsibility a woman is expected of her in the house. Um, I feel as a woman in the house, you are responsible for the well-being of your husband, your children, and then also responsible for the for what they eat, and also ensure that the environment, that is the house, is being kept very clean and neat. And if you're also working as a woman, um, of course, there's nothing wrong with you maybe. Um, Passing one or two things in the house, whereby maybe getting some things in the house or taking your children out for um, maybe a hangout or something. So a woman has a lot of responsibility in the house. We're actually diving into one our one of our that's when I say our second topic, but mm -hmm. let me leave you at that. Princess, what do you think? Um, I, I think one of the major responsibilities for a woman is to be protective of her family. She should be protective of her, of her family 
she is, I would say to me, I would say a woman is the pillar of the house. She guides her family through the right paths because I would say um, the, the, her husband is usually not around. So she's the one that is always at home to protect her kids and protect her home. A woman, her major one of her major responsibilities is to guide her children through the path of righteousness. That's number one. When you guide your kids through the path of righteousness, when they grow up, they will not depart from it. Another responsibility of a woman is to be prayerful for her family. Always include her husband in prayers so that whenever he goes out, things work out perfectly for him because he has a strong woman at home. Another responsibility of a woman is to always put an eye on her kids. Aside from doing the uh, domestic home choice that everybody knows, I feel another responsibility is to always keep an eye on her kids because they, they will always say in our society, when a kid is good, it's the father, yeah. or when a kid is bad, it's the mother. So I feel for a woman, she has the major responsibilities in the house, even more than the husband. She's happy at home. So she is the pillar of her family. Don't be over to you. Uh, okay. Uh... If you don't have a neck, what's the hair? Now, the father is just like the head, and the mother is just like the neck, and let's just say the whole body just like the rest of the family. So I feel like if there's no neck, the whole body won't function, the neck won't function, the body won't function. So the mother is just like the neck, carrying maybe basically, should I say 80% of the responsibility? Now, the father takes care of the family, yeah? It's one of the basics. But the remaining thing is like house chores, taking care of your kids, Making sure one or two things is it's being placed right in the family. It's the responsibility of a mother. I think in a family without a mother, I don't think the whole children or the husband will function well. Just like me in my family, uh, my mom went for a conference. We are all grown up here. My dad is just there and they have their own room. I have my own room. The boys have their own room. But there's something in the house that is missing. That's the mom. The food will be sweet, oh, but there's this taste that the mother cooks, and you know, and my dad sometimes, the way he feels, the way he talks, you know, how this mom, the wife, the niece, you get. So, mom, moms, and they are like one of the most essential things in family. So just, see, basically, mothers are very important in the family. Let me just put it that way. Without a mother, I don't think the home is going to function. Let's just leave the responsibility. Some men does. If your mother is not alive today, there are some things your father will do, you'll be shocked. But I think if something is really missing in the house and you check, check and look, ah, you know, ah, somebody is missing and is the mom. So I think a mother is just like a neck. She carries basically most of the responsibilities. She's a very, very important pillar in the family. That's what I have to say. So I would like to say or contribute to that stuff. The role and responsibility of a woman or a mother in a home is actually one, to guide our children, to put things in order domestically, to, in every, there's a saying that say it was in every, in every, in every successful man's life, there's a woman behind it. So I don't think, a man will be a success that like he's without him having a drive because his wife is there and his children is there. So the woman has actually given him a reason to want to go further and achieve. And without you as a woman in that house praying, using prayers to like intercede for the family. Things won't go the way they are ought to. Things won't really go the way they are ought to. Like she said, a mother provides. Yeah, there are some mothers that provide because in our 
generation or in the recent happenings now, things going on. There are some men that doesn't work. The mother actually provides. And she says something of domestic choice. The woman would have to like, make sure there's food for the children to eat. Make sure there's food for the husband to eat. Do a house choice before even really looking out for her own self. And she also says something of being the spiritual head and all that. And we mentioned the word of which is true. If my mom is not in the house, like she traveled for like three days, the mother has done that. You know? mm -hmm. For God's sake, pay my day. The man day normal. But if, now we're gonna even try one like make the house like this. But once she just steps out and we know that she's not coming back in the next two days or three days, do everybody there, you know, they carry face. Did she as we don't even receive call, say, mom see the phone. Go see smile. Even the man where they do say, sometimes they do say, you are giving me a you are giving me a dick, come and do and go. If she come out, now go miss and pass, because now wife. When she come, you go call the face like say, no, miss and I lie. I miss and pass. But the truth is, the responsibility of a woman in the house, like she has a lot to play. Being the guardian to the children, making sure they attend the best, despite some family having some financial situation, they try much to make sure that their children go to the best within their financial limits. They intercede for their family, prayer, and otherwise. Even when things are going wrong or words are coming in from outside or relative against herself or the man or the children, she tries as much as putting a wall against those words coming in in order for it not to affect her children or affect her husband. To me, I guess there's even more to any roles that we're even outlining right now because anything that comes in, she has to play a lot of to be that person, that figure that she is in the house. I, I, I will say something. You know, in our society today, there are a lot of women that love to be responsible. As a woman, it's your responsibility to, to, to watch over your family through financial stage. Some women are just being liabilities to their husband, and to me, I would say that's true. As a woman, you should be you should have your own um your own finance to actually support your own husband because you don't just yes you know we, they say something like yeah men are the pillar i mean that is like she said the men are the head but as the neck you should be always be supportive because you don't just keep your entire being to your husband staying and meeting for him Okay, uh, children's office. If it's not my husband that is coming to pay, and they should stay at home now. I have what, what will I do? Will I keep myself? No. As a woman, you should own up to your kids and your family responsibilities because that's what makes you a strong woman. That's what makes you a mother. Having that mother, mother's feelings. A lot of women today, even if they want to cook, they will have to wait for their husband. If you like, make him travel go uh, Kotonu. We go call him. Eh, hey, Papa Junior. Eh, Alpha now. Eh, Maggie no day house so. Alpha send ten naira. We go buy Maggie. You know not say your children go chop food. Eh, hey, you not send money. Where where you expect me? No, that is wrong. As a mother and as a woman, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be doing that. You should be supportive to your husband. You should always play your own part as the wife. You should always create a space in your home so that whenever you're out, you will be missed. As a mother, it's good whenever you're around, people around you miss your presence. They talk about, ah, if to say my mother is ill, eh, this one for happen, that one for happen. And that is a good plus for a mother, even the heaven recognizes that as a woman. So, so in conclusion, what so, would you uh, say? I want to say something. If you're really talking about responsibilities of a mother, blah, 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 blah. I'm actually going to talk about the disadvantage that women go through in the house. Now, first off, as a woman, uh, maybe I was I was a banker and you as a man met me. And all of a sudden I'm married to you and then you say, stop the work. Stop. Um, there are some men that wouldn't want their wife to have money. 
than them. Yes. No, you're talking about why I've been supporting, why I've been this. You're just talking about the disadvantage of women that are really caged in that same house. A woman wants to do something, but because this man does not really want this woman to step out to do something, there are some men that are very toxic. They wouldn't even want you to know to have money more than them. They wouldn't want you to know have this name, you know. What are you going to do as that woman? What we like you're being caged. This is a woman and this is a man. I, I was doing well before I got married to you, I was dating you, I was doing well. And you're doing us doing well so but I'm doing better than you are. And all of a sudden I'm married to you. And then you ask me, hey, can you stop your work and then concentrate on my children? It's not a bad thing if you ask me to stop my work. But then what if I stop my work? What am I going to be doing at home? Are you going to be that man and that responsibility of taking care of the whole house? You want me to be the wife, but then I'm not doing anything and you want me to, if I ask, you wouldn't give me. What do you think about that? Like, let's talk about that as well. As a wife, what would you want to do? What would you think, you know? You wouldn't want to sit at home. You want to support, but because say your husband a jealous person, feel like say, eh, he want to do pass you. You know what I mean? You get past him because there's some men like that. What do you think, guys? Like, you know, um, some women actually use the advantage of the men saying they should not work, they should stay at home and take care of the children. And some women are actually very, very lazy, yeah. even in the house. Okay. Say for instance, your husband said you shouldn't work and take care of the children. If you think about it, some of the women, they don't even take care of the home. I know of a man who is very, very neat. When he got married, everything changed. People stopped to visiting the man because the house is smelly. When you enter the house. <laughs> so there are some women like they are very, very lazy. They use that advantage of saying the, my husband said I should not work. To stay home and take care of the kids, all that, and now he's asking me what should I use to bring to the table. It's not about you working. There are things you will do in the house. There are, there are important things. Do you advise your children? Do you know their emotional state? Because some of them are being bullied in school. You don't know what they are going through. You don't care about their feelings. You don't even know what your husband is going through. You understand? So it's not about you working because. Um, me, yeah, I see the working part of it. If your husband is capable of taking care of your family, I don't see need of you working. Because there, there is a much responsibility for you to do in the house. It's not a day, a, it's not a day job. I'm not, talking of, I'm not talking of the advantage, I'm talking and of the disadvantage. So some women use that, don't like no. some women use okay, that. Uh, to be lazy. I'm not talking no. of the advantage, talking of the, I'm thing. talking of the disadvantage no, now. Yes, now talking about uh, maybe the husband stopping the wife not to work and then it's and you want your wife to do then, something yeah you want your wife to you want her to maybe contribute to the family yeah as a woman if your husband stops you from working meaning that maybe the work you go closing late you don't have time for the family or something there's another thing that as a woman you're supposed to do this hand work is also important that so that a man will not say okay i stop you from working and then he's also asking what are you contributing to the family there's a hand work whereby you can engage yourself in it and it will be fetching money in the house. Okay, for instance, now, if you learn how to, or uh, maybe you're a caterer, and then you can be receiving order from home. And then you have someone who be doing the delivery for you. don't need to go out since your husband doesn't want you to go out. And he wants you to take responsibility of the house. But he still wants you to contribute in one way or the other in the house. What I'm trying to say is that you mustn't have to be a workaholic woman for you to be a responsible woman in the house. There are other things you have to do. There are many things, there, is a, there are many rules for you to partake in the family, not just being working and providing for the family. If your husband can do that, find another means. You don't have to work. It seems you're not getting Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? If you're, you're working and your and husband tells you to stop working and he still is asking you, yes, after that you that stop you working, eating. he's still asking you what are you asking? He still wants you to continue to the house. Something when you're not he's working, not he has cut you off of and then you don't see that any new money for what? yourself. Mm -hmm. And what he still wants you to have another thing that was a means of income that you must not go out. Like my aunt, my aunt, the man she got married to, she doesn't want her to work. But what did he do? He bought a sewing machine 
for her. People will bring um, um, work, she will sew and they will come and pick. She don't need to go out. That she will work and then she will also leave, like she will sew and then leave that part and do the housework. Why some men stop their women not to work? It's because the work has to do with you going outside. And he doesn't know how many men you meet outside. This same outside. man don't bloody care mm -hmm. if you stop your work. You don't get it. Like this same man don't bloody care. He use your babies or use you as a wife of an instance. Mama, stay in the house or baby or babe, stay in the house. I don't want you to work. And this same man don't bloody care if you have money or not. As that woman, what to provide a means of what to provide a means of. No, now let me let me let me let me say this. To me, I would say no woman deserve no woman deserve to cut off of her dream. Cut off of her dream. No woman deserve to be cut off of her career. I will say this. That is why when when a woman meets a man, that is why they have they usually go into courtship. That courtship helps people to be, to it's know true. yourself. It's that is the perfect time for you as a woman to be able to know your man. This man now, is he what, 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 what is kind of person? Is he a very jealous person? Okay, is he against my success? Does he love what I'm doing? What if tomorrow I get married to him and he say, Oh, come, what's your process? Okay, I don't want you to go into um, entertainment. I don't want you to go into fashion. I don't want you. To... Can, can I actually handle that? There's some men that you get you date now. <laughs> they yeah, pretend yeah. to be who they are not. Yeah, that's, that's and then when you're in the marriage, house. they tend to yeah, change. Yeah, that's that's what what I'm saying. Saying. No woman deserves such a thing. Or well, in a situation where you find yourself, so, like, what will you do? No what woman deserves such a thing. Some women are actually very wicked. They some deserve it. Like serious. Yeah, imagine a woman like, 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 like that. Like serious deserves that. that for your gender deserves like, that. Like there is this couple, like they are into estate management. You understand? So the woman hardly have a, a time for the family. She just have one kid. One kid. The woman hardly have um, because it's the same work he and the husband does. And their companies are after each other because the other company is big, the other one is so they are always dragging. Husband so, and wife having different companies. No, they, are, they, they, they the work, work the same, same way. But the same, they work the same work, but, but different, different companies. companies. So the so company are after each other, like they want, they are always dragging. So the husband is representing the other company, the other one, the other one is representing the other So imagine this kind of state now. Instead of them to like work and think, let's but just create our own. Home. You understand? Let's just create our own company. You understand? So that since two of us have the knowledge, the woman was like, she won't back down. She won't back down for that. She was not even having time for the family. The girl was bullied in school. They end up getting uh, molested in school. Is it not the responsibility for the for the wife? The husband asked her to stop. So no, 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 she's dragging now with the husband, she doesn't even have time for the, the so time at all. So 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 she was very arrogant and very, very, very arrogant. Now, that's why the man comes in. Excuse me, sorry. So that's why a woman, you have to get them to stop there. That's why the man comes in now, as the head of the family. You don't understand? At the head of the family, you have every right to tell your wife, stop. If you have your money, I'm all, tell her stop and you, you get, a, get a business for her. Yes, you can't tell your wife to stop a job and then you don't get to buy anything for her. Then the thing is that even the woman stops, even if the woman is going to stop the work, stop the work then. Or like babe, stop this work or just leave that particular thing for me. Let me read. You understand? The money is to move me. Then you tell you that the woman was trying to prove herself to her husband that she can do it. And she, she missed her role of being a mother and she missed her role of being a wife. And the world is now the point. You, your family is breaking down. You're trying to if you're, if if you're a career woman, if you're a career driven woman, woman, to me, it's, it's all about your mindset. Balance. It's all about your principle to me. And also balance. I can't, I'm not gonna lie, you. But uh, for not the money when my parents don't waste for my head, that they work or they do something. You come tell me, say, make her stop my work. Say because of say you want me to become as well. See, it's now left for me as the lady, I be as the woman. My husband say I should choose. Should I leave my work so as to focus on my family, or I can continue with my work and make sure. I... 
It's a 50-50 thing. You, to keep your family, to keep your husband, to keep your children, to keep your home. You have to pay a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. If you still want to go on with your work, fine and good, but you make sure your responsibility as a wife, as a mother, you are on top. You see it in the woman aspect. You are not seeing it. I'm telling you, that's what I'm telling you now. The woman is not the mother of the woman in the house right now. Despite your working, it's now your mindset. It's You're now not your principle. You don't ignore your family. You don't ignore your children. You don't ignore your husband just because they're a career you woman. Know, now, let me. I want to. You know, don't say something. What she was asking me in the situation where you get married to a man and the man stops you from doing, from working, doing anything, and he wants you to stay out, and now he's not even providing for the family. Now, he's not providing. He's not providing. Yeah. I would advise her no, no, to she pack her bag and go back to her parents. You should not have value. You should not have value. When you go to the pack your bag, pack your bag. Now, when you are not there, that's not your business. That's not your business. You should not have value. Now, 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 he cut her off from working. Yes. Working. What do you want her to do? Why she was going out? Did he did he stop her from doing the business? No. He never stopped. That's why you come in as a wife and a husband. You need to sit. If my sister bed, you must sit and talk. Babe, let's talk. Now you see. Now wait. Hold on. Let's talk, babe. What's up? What's going on? We need to talk. If not to say, okay, you ready now, girl? This one ready now, girl? Wait, wait, wait. Let's see, see. Let me tell me. Men are logical, while women are emotional, right? Now, this men, I feel like this men, they, they're very, they are, they, they are like babies, yeah? Now, if you really want your husband to listen, there are some things yeah. you can do, right? As a woman, if you want your husband to listen, you know your husband will go to guy. You know what I'm saying? You say, guys, stop work. You can say, okay, fine, you stop your work. You just eh? agree, no need to agree. No, no, no. After you agree, say you stop your work, right? You know your husband, you know the moon what's in there. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to be disadvantaged. Hold on. Now, you need to sit your husband down. If he's in the bed, you guys talk. Or somewhere. Oh, God. There are some men. Wait, now, baby, let me finish. Let me cut you off. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. Hold on. Let's say it. Wow. Look at this. Like, touch her, touch her. You know, touch her. So, what's in there? I want to see what that is on the wall. You know what? You know what? You know what? You go out on a dinner date, or you do something in the house, or maybe or in the bed. After, after, after the dinner, sit in the bed, go gist, one or two, you know what they eat. Yeah. <laughs> she said, what's up? She said, I should stop my mom. Why? What should I be doing? What's the reason? Okay, you know what? I'm going to stop. But I need to do something. It's either you open a business for me, or you maybe, vent, maybe make me learn something. You can't just ask me to, not be fine, Baba, not be fine. I go pack your bag, see one call. Oh, my God. Hey, 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 Basically, you go give me money to make I cook. I can't continue to sit at home, watch movie, watch, watch clip and all of that. You see, you know, you bring the mother of the boy, you bring my mother, we talk together like that. You know that I won't be, eh? Okay. Yes. I'm I'm to to I know. You know, that's what my baby you say. If you don't go call mama, call mama. No, 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 the disadvantage. Yes, okay. yes. You getting married to a man. No, we are trying to solve it, right? Yeah. You yes. getting married to a man. You understand? And now the man don't say make you do not stop you from doing any other thing that you should stay at home. And now he say you say he's not providing. He's not providing. Yeah. 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 And yet he wants you to contribute to the family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now in that situation, now there are some men that even tell you. No more. <laughs> no do business. What you want for that? You didn't have no. You didn't. 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 You
I want to have money more than them or yes. something. Do you understand? That's why it's not to be working. Yes, that is the way if you do a business. Why you want you to have any means of income? But my point is the business. You no, no, no. You are not doing now. Now you are doing less. As you want to do business, where your business when they do, now I'm waiting to say if you monitor your your income, so they reach the own on a monthly basis. Because you know, say we men normally they like women that are submissive. You submit your money. <laughs> it's not all of that. If you are submissive, it's not much to submit your money. Now. Just give them that attention. Give them, as we obey them, as they say, this one go on. But it's now left to you as a woman. The man don't tell you, say, you know, I make you work. Oh, that's what I'm saying. And you want you to provide. Okay, okay, right. now. And you want you to provide. You basically provide, provide. Eh? Okay. One of two things you have to do for yourself. Yes. Don't really care. Yeah. You look for something. You can't do that. 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 Stop. You tell him, okay, but you must find a means. Like there are some men that will actually ask you like like this. Like this. I know what she's trying to get at. Like, it stops you from working. And it's not that it's not providing for the house, it's providing. But it doesn't want you to need for your own personal needs. So, why do you get married? 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 Yeah, this time we do one work. Tell him the same thing. Oh, let's to me, because I told you guys, this thing, I told you, I told you that you should know your man very well. Since your man has told you to stop working, right? You know what to do, you know your other mumu body. Savannah Season Special Promo is back and better. Buy a plot of land with Savannah Smart Home this season and enjoy up to 50% discount with a 36 month payment spread. That's no all. With an initial deposit of 100,000 in above, you get freebies like double door fridge, live cow, live goat, bag of rice, oil, plus bird TV, and more. You also get to enjoy a free raffle draw ticket to win a plot of land. Whoa! Our estate are located in Abuja, Nasarawa, Enugu, and Oyo State. We offer top notch infrastructure, good road network, 24 7 electricity, recreational center, and gym, test securities with six. CCTV cameras within the estate and smart futures to wow you. What are you waiting for? Call or visit our website on www.savannasmarthomes.com. Savannah Smart Homes, building affordable smart cities. Every day, we struggle with life's challenges. Every day, we push our pulse to the limit, breaking bounds as we forge ahead. Maca Plus Energy Drink offers unique taste and a cooling feel. Feel the boost. Push and showcase your skills. Maca Plus Energy Drink for the champions. Maca Plus Energy Drink. hot day or a chance to get closer and new experiences together fan milk hey siwe give me siwe bottle water all blues and not seaweed. <sighs> Always choose.
hang out now. At least let me even get to know this your guy at least. <laughs> I'm not saying anybody, even you are not your man. No, I'm not your man. I don't care. I don't care about your man. I'm not your <laughs> Babe, eh? The baba no get. Don't be my first the baba go go out. And the guy say no. He get for me to to understand. See the guy get fish brain and the female get fish brain. No, no, no. Your guy say no go. Why you go with the cheap guy? It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing with the top. But how do you know your fish brain and the girl they talk about? It's the same thing. She's trying to make him feel like. So we are not saying she's wrong. 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 She's